Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to Colour Cambria's live session through the Fabrication and Welding Department. My name's Tony Cummins. Um, today we're going to give you some information about the, the course, um, but to start with, here's a short video. Your tomorrow awaits for you inside these open doors. Doors that are wide open, full of technology and experience. We won't just give you the tools, but the skills and opportunities to connect you with your potential, to connect you to your future in engineering. Innovation isn't just in the classroom, it's inside of you. Solve your biggest unsolved dreams. The next life-changing solution could be in the palm of your hands. Inspiring engineering innovations through outstanding teaching and support. Pushing you to achieve your full potential. This wide world strives for the enthusiastic engineer in you. Start the motions of your success today. We are Colleg Cambria. Okay, to start with today, um, I'd just like to explain that, that Colleg Cambria's facilities across all campuses are state of the art. We have some of the best workshops and best learning environments that anybody could wish for. Um, the fabrication and welding trade itself is huge. It ranges from um, small workshops right the way through up to the, the nuclear industry. We have several courses, um, level one, level two, level three, and they range um, in, in, in sizes and we, we work right the way through the course. Okay. Uh, as Tony says, the workshop is a state-of-the-art environment um, and it simulates um, live industry out in the workplace um, and the students can come in they start as a level one then they can progress level two and indeed level three in the meantime um, during the course we endeavor to um, seek work experience for for most or all of the students if we can and we have a very very good success rate of employment from that work experience once you embark on the work experience, you come back as a, a as a modern apprentice. And like Alan was just saying, then that um, the companies we work with are a huge, huge range, and um, lots of small companies within the area, and lots of large companies as well. And um, we have a big apprentice intake. Um, usually, you embark on the level one course, and this will give you progression onto the level two. From the level two course, you will be eligible towards apprenticeships. Um, from there, our best students or the most willing students, we push um, and we will we'll put them in the right placements. Um, to mention some of the large companies we work with, um, Ivor Williams, Tata Steel. Um, but this trade, is it, it's so diverse. It can take it in so many directions. It's, it's hard to explain. But there's lots of small fabrication shops and welding shops within the area who work for the larger companies so the airbuses and the steelworks and they supply to that industry when i said at the beginning um this this trade it, it can open up as a, as a welder as a fabricator um pipe work boiler maker there's the technology side of the the, the companies um, it's still a, a trade where you work with your hands but the technology is advancing so quickly that there is um, huge scopes to move into, into the engineering field. And um, the, the, the ranges that you're looking at, um, I would say production welders uh, are earning possibly 25 to 27,000 pounds a year. And then there's the, the further scale of the companies. Um, if you work hard enough or you're skilled enough to work in the nuclear industry, you're talking 
huge amounts of money to be earned. Um, but the, the work has to be top notch. You have to, you have to push yourself. Tony's mentioned that we, we start at level one and then level two and obviously level three. Um, inherently, we, we call the level one course level one, but realistically, it's, it's a pre-apprentice course where it gives people coming fresh into the industry the, the opportunity to start from scratch, if you like. And so we take them through all the basics of engineering, which which encompasses a lot of, of skills that, that come together to finally um, produce the qualification that you, you deserve. Um, so we do MIG welding, we do TIG welding, we do uh, MMA welding or the facility to MMA, MMA welding which is manual metal arc welding. We also do sheet metal work, which complements um, the welding side of things because it, it does attract a little bit more skills into the sheet metal work side of things, which then broadens your ability to um, produce the work that we need uh, accurately as well. That's right, yeah. Um, currently, I know with the, the, the situation um, people are concerned about jobs. Um, a lot of the companies we are working with are still taking on apprentices. Everything happens in, in a fabrication workshop. So there's any projects to be made in the future, a new building, um, infrastructure, there's steel work applied to that. So this trade, um, currently there is companies which are um, maybe not taking on, I see in this trade currently it's, it's quite stable and the work um, or the apprentices, the, the future work in, in, in our eyes is, is looking promising, it, it's moving forward. And Alan also mentioned that about the, the level one course, um, we class it as a pre-apprenticeship course. Even if you are really, really skilled, um, you know, this is a, a trade where you're working with your hands. So, starting at the base unit at the, at, the, at the bottom rung of the ladder and moving your way off is the best way to become a tradesman. In the past, we've entered a lot of competitions um, as colleague Cambria. Uh, the World Skills events are held annually, uh, with the exception, obviously, of this year with the, with the COVID, sadly, that didn't take place. Um, but we do uh, strive to push students forward to display their skill set in, in a worldwide competition. We also have uh, opportunity to go abroad with a work experience program with um, European colleagues. Um, so we go out with the students abroad. We've been to Germany. We were scheduled to go to Italy in March. Sadly, with the COVID, that, that had to be put on hold. Um, but I can see that coming off very, very shortly, um, possibly next, next year. Um, but that will then be two weeks away from home with all expenses paid, work experience out into a different country. It'll just broaden your learner journey at Colleague Cambria. Um, I think now we're going to move on towards uh, the question and answer section. Okay, Sarah has asked, how old do you need to be to attend? Um, so you need to be a, a, a school leaver to complete it, your school, so um, 16 onwards, is that Yeah, on school leaver onwards. We do have a schools link group that, that come in, but it's also, that um, is linked through uh, existing school partnerships. Um, another question coming through now here, um, companies we work with, um, we mentioned a few before, um, there's, it, it, it's huge, there is so many different companies that we deal with, um, the most common or well known I, I would assume would be Ivor Williams Trailers, um, Tata Steel, DRB, these are local big engineering companies.
Okay, there's another question coming through from Sarah. Um, thinking of older adults such as 33. Yes, absolutely. Um, Alan mentioned before about the, the world skills. The, the most recent success we've had is someone that's uh, come retrained, learned new skills, and moved on to it to a new career. Um, the minimum age that that we have is uh, is school leavers at 16, but there's no top end um, age limit. You can come at any any age, um, and we we facilitate that that um, that learner and their needs. We understand that maybe as a mature student they have a family commitments and stuff, so we are very very flexible with with how we we learn on the course of that. Okay, grade requirements for the course. Um, <clears throat> the level one course, to move on to the level one course, you will need to have completed um, school with grades of, of four E's. For the level two course, if you were moving on to the level two course to start with, you would need to have completed the level one previously or have um, industrial experience. Okay, a colleague here is just saying it's great to hear about foreign trips, world skills, fantastic opportunities for students um, and employers. I think the, the, the world skills events have, have, are invaluable to, to the learners because it broadens their, their prospects and it's a great, great coup to have on, the, on their CVs to go into industry as well. If you compete and, and don't win, it's still the fact that you you you've competed at that level um, is is a great is a great asset to you. It's just gaining the skill sets as well. Yeah, yeah it, it's achievements. Just waiting for some more questions to come in. Okay, there's no more questions coming through. Um, thank you very much for tuning in, watching. Sorry, Sarah's just, just jumped in. Um, Sarah, can I just answer that one about how much the course costs? Um, if, you, if you reside in Wales, the courses are fully funded by the Welsh Government. Hope that helps. Okay. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, if you want to know any more, please get in touch with the college. Um, you can look at, you can respond to the email that's shown, or ring through and speak to an advisor. Can I can I also add that the uh, we're based at Deeside. Uh, we do have a campus at Bersham Road in Wrexham as well, um, which if that's closer for you to attend, that's a, that's a great one. Okay. Diolchan fawr iawn am gwyliar um, y gwefan heddiw. Um, Pob lwch i ti ac edrych yn fawr. Thank you.